Julia, you, you're uh, putting together a four-part program about the uh, walking in South Africa. Can you just quickly, briefly tell us about that? Yeah, I have a, a walking series in the UK um, that is largely based around uh, the work of uh, a writer and a, and a walker called Alfred Wainwright. And it started off as a very small series and it's become um, a very successful series that people have really started to, uh, to talk about and love and they've become very involved with and walking has taken off in the UK. Um, so we're expanding that series now and we're, we're moving further afield. So we've got a series in Germany and a series in Africa. Uh, which for me is a dream come true. I've been visiting South Africa for 15 years. My uncle lives here. Some of my best friends in the world live here, and it's taken me that long to actually get a program made here. And now you're, you're walking along the, 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 the Rolls Royce of trails. Yes, I mean, we've chosen four walks in South Africa. Of course, you could do 40 walks in South Africa, but we've chosen four, and the way that our walking series works is that uh, the walks need to have a narrative, they need to have a story. It isn't just a hiking program. We need history, we need colour, we need texture to add to those walks. So we've cho chosen part of the garden route, we've got a walk through the Kruger, we've got the Drakensberg, and we've got one more, you'll remind me of it. The Ochrabis, that's right, which I've never been to. That's the one I couldn't remember because I'm looking forward to exploring the Ochrabis. Desert. Um, here in Mossel Bay, you, you're, you're putting particular emphasis on the political point case, is that correct? Yeah, we've, we've chosen a section of the garden route that includes the Pinnacle Point Caves because they have become so vital and significant to modern man's history. Uh, it really is history in the making here now, which is an incredible uh, occurrence and a wonderful opportunity to be able to walk along a path which has such a strong identity to every single human being on the planet. In five minutes' time, we'll be going down to those caves. Have you been really looking forward to that? Oh, I, so much so. I mean, as I've said, for me to be here filming and working in Africa is a dream come true. But to uncover and to explore stories like this is absolutely un unbelievable. And the team are very excited. And it genuinely is, for me, my most exciting walk because I know this area of South Africa very well. I come to Fleas Bay uh, year in, year out and spend a lot of good times uh, with my friends here. So to be walking and telling this story is, is exciting. Tell us about Mossel Bay and your experience in Mossel Bay. Well, Mossel Bay is simply one of the most extraordinary places on the planet. Uh, it's so rich in flora and fauna uh, and herbs. You guys know it is your medicine basket. It is your pantry. It's not just beautiful to look at. It's beautiful to smell. Um, the history is superb. The food is excellent. Uh, it is just one of those areas that um, I'd like more people to know about. Uh, South African Walks program. What are you, what are you calling it? Does it have a working program? Uh, yeah, at the moment it is just, at the moment the working title is Africa Walks. We don't know exactly what it's going to be called yet. That it might well be that. It could be Africa Walks with Julia Bradbury. We'll wait and see. Uh, it's to coincide with the World Cup as well in the UK. So when are you planning to broadcast? It'll be broadcast next year. Can't give you a month yet, but as early in the year as we can possibly get it on air. So it'll be there in time for the, uh, for, for the World Cup. Yeah. Do you have a presence on the web? Yes, Where yes. Go? You go to juliabradbury.com, um, you can read all about me on juliabradbury.com and then there are various feeds that will take you to other programs that I do. Excellent. Thank you very much. Pleasure.